Whitney from the Holiday Homestead. Um, today I am um, just kind of showing you the, the next phase of amaranth quinoa usage around the homestead. Um, so, um, let's see. so I'm going to show you guys uh, winnowing, which is um, separating the, the chaff, like the little bits of leaves and um, Oh gosh, stems and flower bits, all that kind of stuff. Separating that from the grain, that is what you want, of course. And the grain is a seed um, in particular. So, um, so yeah, I'll be showing you a couple of those. And then also I'll show you how I use it in um, the chicken feed and in just, just for household use. And also for storing for seeds, because that's a really important part of this, um, this whole process, is making sure that you have enough seed for the following season. Okay, so let's get there. Um, so this, this is a feed bag. I save all my feed bags. They're really useful. They are really useful. Anyway, um, and so I have, this is the rough, um, unprocessed, <laughs> on anything, um, amaranth. And this is the, um, the green amaranth that I grew um this year it's, it was a really beautiful plant it didn't have as big of heads as i was hoping for um but it did a really good job so either way you know it's it's a decent plant to keep going um with on the farm so um so the first thing is i should say you want to make sure you're doing this on a nice clear slightly breezy day um because the breeze is what you need to blow the chaff away um, and then second, you want to uh, just make sure you don't make a huge mess of yourself because the stuff is going to be blowing everywhere. Um, so the first thing always is cover your hair. I, I do. I cover my hair a lot um, in the work I do around here just because I'm tired of picking out alfalfa and little, you know, bits of straw to my hair at night. So, um, and the worst part is, you know, if you don't cover your hair, and you're like, oh, I'll just wash my hair tonight, no big deal. Um, even when you wash it, the the bits of like chaff and straw and stuff that gets mixed in with your sweat, and then it gets stuck in your hair, and then you're trying to scrub that out at night, it's super annoying. I've done it a million times, and I've just gotten to the point now where I just say, hey, I'm going to wash my hair anyway, but I will just keep the bits from getting into it um, to make it a little bit easier. So I just cover my hair. <laughs> It's easier. Anyway, um, so those are the couple ideas. Anyway, but yeah, the breeze is important. Um, and also you want to do it on a clear day. It, you know, you don't want it super, you know, foggy or um, like right after it rained or something um, because that just adds moisture to your grain and you need to keep your grain dry when you're going to store it. Um, anyway, so all that and let's get started. So I'm just going to take a handful and you want to get a large bowl. I like metal bowls. Um, because they're very uh, smooth on the inside. And when you're winnowing, you want to have a nice smooth surface to work with. Um, I have seen it done in wooden bowls and that's great. Um, I've never used a wooden bowl just because I do want like a really slick surface to kind of work around on. Um, but anyway, so that's what I use, a very large metal bowl. Um, then also what I do is I crunch up the, the the, the grain it's just it's all mixed in here there's like sticks um there's mostly it's the flower the heads of the flowers um where the where the seed is sitting inside the plant um and you need to get rid of all that so i just try to make sure it's all separated that's what you want to do first because if you don't separate it and see i'm just crunching it with my hands uh if you don't separate it what happens is um the seed will weigh down the flower the dried flower head and you end up with a lot more flower heads and um, stuff in your in your final product. So you really want to separate those. So I just work them with my hands real quick. And even now you can just see <laughs> there's stuff floating around, flying all over the place. Some people will do this while they're, um, they're kind of like the first stage of winnowing. So they'll hold it up a little bit high and the grain will fall back into your bowl. But the chaff, the bits will start flying off. So this, I guess, would be like phase one of winnowing, I guess. And sometimes if there is no breeze or if it's just not, you know, the timing isn't just right with the breeze, I will blow on it too. So here we go. And it just kind of helps it get going because 
can even do it pretty high if you want. And some of it kind of blows off, but it's not really the, the winnowing. So I'm hoping the wind <laughs> will work with me here because it does take a little bit of timing. Okay, there's a breeze. All right. So you've got your stuff in your bowl and you just throw it. And I'll see if I can get a good shot of it while I'm doing it. And you're seeing just stuff fly off and that is the chaff. So you just kind of toss it and catch it. Toss it and catch it. Toss it and catch it. And as you're catching it, you'll start to see like less light leaf stuff and more um, more brown grain. Oh, and I've lost my wind. <laughs> okay, so just from those few tosses, you can see there's less in the bowl, of course, but if you scrape back a little bit, you can start to see You can start to see the grain. So that darker stuff is the grain that we want. All of this stuff is the chaff and bits of um, like twigs and stuff that we don't want. And so, so it's working. <laughs> oh, and there's another little breeze. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a strong breeze. That's good. Beautiful. Okay, so that was really good breeze because it means that we um, got quite a bit blown off. And so now I can just take my finger and you can see clearly the difference. This is our grain here. This is the stuff we need to get out. Also, you can tell at this point, oh, there's a spider. <laughs> you can tell at this point too, um, that you can, or you can tell what's, what's chaff more right now because it really has separated out quite a bit. And so you can even take your fingers and just pick up the, the bits. That's heavy stuff that doesn't get blown away um, by the, the wind. So that's um, twigs and, probably some flower heads with a little bit of grain that just won't come out. Um, and you can try grinding it again with your hands and get a little bit more out of it. Um, I typically don't, I just let it go. But, um, but you definitely can if you want to. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> actually, oh yeah, I should show you this too. Another thing, um, like I was doing blowing on it um, in the beginning, you can also blow on it at this stage as well. So. You do lose a bit more seed though. That's the only reason why I usually don't do it at this stage because sometimes I blow out the seed because it's really a lot of air blowing directly on the seed, but, and then you can kind of just brush out more of those twigs and things. And you can flick those out. All right, so look. So there we have some really pretty well um, uh, sifted um, winnowed um, amaranth. And so this, at this point, you could take this and just put it in a, like a little, um, oh gosh, what do you call it? Like a little um, piece of wire, like a quarter inch um, wire um, and just drop it through there because the quarter inch wire is gonna pick up these, these big sticks that are too heavy to get winnowed out. And they're just kind of tedious to pick out, you know, these little sticks. Um, I mean, of course, if you have time, just sit there and pick them out. They're, they're very visible, you know, they're easy to get rid of. Um, and they sit right on top there. They're, they're just not light enough to be blown out um, without blowing out too much of your grain as well. So anyway, um, so this, like right now, this is what I would use to save for seed. Um, and so see how it's, it's clean, it's got some sticks, but it's not a big deal. Um, and so what I would do, I use envelopes, just 
regular old half inch or half uh, size manila envelopes. The main thing is you just want something that has a, a sealed bottom on it. You don't want your seeds falling out the sides um, or the corners or the folds. And so I would just take this and I just scoop it in. And that's it. And now I have, oh gosh, probably <laughs> maybe uh, half a million seeds in there already. And that's just from one quick winnowing. Um, and so it, it is really easy to save um, the seeds, especially from, from grain products like this. Um, and so that's that. And now, now if I was feeding this to my chickens, which is the other half of the process here, if I was feeding this to my chickens, um, I would winnow it just a little bit. I really wouldn't even go that far because chickens are very good at picking out what they want and don't want. Um, so if I, if I just used this and just winnowed it, just like grind it, crunch it up just a wee bit, and then um, put it in with my chicken um, mix that I used to um, soak overnight, the seeds would pick up more of the water and um, would kind of stand out a little bit more. And then the hens would just kind of come through and pick out what they want. They'd probably eat a few twigs and a few little flower heads, but you know, <laughs> nothing worse than they would eat normally. Um, and so, um, so yeah, so that's one way that I use this. Um, but if you're using it for chicken feed, you really don't need to do much more processing than just getting it off the stalk and bagging or drying it and bagging it. Um, so it's really easy and uh, definitely, definitely worth it, um, especially right now because we're using a pretty low quality um, chicken feed. And it definitely helps to supplement, uh, make sure they're getting enough nutrition out of the food that we are giving them um, by adding these grains that are super easy to grow, um, very easy to process, or in this case, you know, barely process. And, um, and it just provides a substantial amount of omega-3s, good oils, um, good calcium, gosh, all kinds of good stuff. Um, just to encourage them <laughs> to stay healthy through these hard times. Because um, the last thing you want when you're expecting to have chicken to get you through a, a rough season uh, is to have poor nutrition and um, eventually just, you know, illness and death, um, loss of hardiness in your flock. Um, and that, that's, that can be very detrimental when you're expecting to have that as a resource for your for your family. Anyway, um, so I hope this helped, guys. Um, definitely winnowing is super easy. It really, um, you know, once you get just the hang of it, it's like a kind of a scooping motion, I guess, and the wind kind of helps. You can always use a fan, too, if you would like. Um, I have used box fans before, just set it up on a table and then just winnow in front of it. You just have to be really careful to have it on a very low setting um, because it, it can be strong enough to blow away um, a lot of your grain as well, which was always not a good idea. So anyway, um, so yeah, I, um, I hope this answers the questions. I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments from the previous videos on amaranth. Um, and so I hope this answers some of those questions. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.